AGI, artificial general intelligence. Yeah. Uh, I take it that you're relatively optimistic. That's on the way. Uh, depends what depends what time scale you're talking about. Yeah, I don't. I, I think we do not have the slightest clue how to make an AGI. Okay. I think the the what's standing between us and making an AGI is is an explanatory theory. It'll be a, a largely a philosophical theory rather than a computer science theory or mathematics or physics or anything like that. It'll it'll be a new way of looking at what creativity is, what explanation is, and I think that qua compu- qua computation, qua computer program. I would expect it to be very simple, oh, relatively okay. simple. So it's not going to be reached by more and more billions and, and trillions of, of bits of data. Um, it, that's not the kind of thing it is. We, we, we differ from uh, monkeys who have brains very similar to ours, we, or apes, we, the great apes. We differ from the great apes only by a few K of of code in that few k of code is is the bootstrap program yeah or bootstrapping um this qualitatively different type of program that we run um you know infinitely different mm. so I, I you asked how optimistic i am on the one hand i think that with hindsight we'll we'll realize that there wasn't much to it <laughs> like all, all we have to do is is write this program of a few k, yeah, and we're done. On the other hand, I see no sign of the of the philosophy that that would that would allow us to do that. Um, and it's rather like the, the question of what is life, what 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 that was like in say eighteen hundred. People had some, you know, people want some people wanted life to be explicable as an ordinary physical process without any supernatural, mm-hmm. without any magic, without any God, uh, just laws of physics. And no one knew how to do that. They, they had vague ideas like, like Lamarck and, and Darwin's grandfather had ideas that, that maybe it happened gradually, maybe it happened very slowly. They didn't have the idea of genes, uh, and they didn't have the idea of mutations and natural selection sure. and that solved it and you could write down that idea in one paragraph That's very easy <laughs> <laughs> um darwin felt the need to write a whole book and probably <laughs> rightly because because from that paragraph nobody with him would have understood it and I, it's possible that the the idea that will open the door to agi is that kind of idea it'll it'll there will come a time when everybody thinks it's obvious and that and that we in our time were being obtuse for not seeing it but from from this end it, it might be very very difficult but it sounds like it also could be an example of what we started by talking about of we're percolating along in a kind of steady state for a while mm-hmm. and then there'll be a sudden change yes hard yes. to predict well, that, that certainly was the case with with darwin and it it also was the case with turing yeah. That you know, Babbage and Lovelace had had the idea. They very nearly had the idea, but they were unable to persuade anybody. They they thought it was really important, <laughs> and no one else did. Yeah. <laughs> and then Turing, I don't know how long Turing's idea would have percolated if it hadn't been for the Second World War. So. Uh, you know, although I, I don't think it would have been centuries, but you know, it, it, it might have been a couple of decades more yeah. um, before anyone thought of actually making these things, which, which you know, people thought of this as being a bit of mathematics. Yeah. It's, it's very hard to get into that mindset because we've got computers all around us. I mean, I'm wearing one on my wrist. <laughs> you know, th- that, that w- would have been an alien conception a hundred years ago. 